Schlettwein says prospective investors must first approach a traditional authority where he or she wants to acquire and develop land. The traditional authority must then consult with the community to determine if the land in question is not already allocated to someone and whether it is located appropriately in terms of the integrated land use policy. A letter of consent is then issued by the traditional authority to the prospective investor. After this process, the investor is required to apply to the Communal Land Board for consideration with a detailed business plan highlighting jobs to be created and required financial injection, among others. The Land Board, after its own field verification, Schledwein says, then determines the size of the land and identifies any possible encroachment before advertising the application for seven days to determine whether there are any objections. The Communal Land Board is empowered to approve or turn down an application providing reasons for non-approval. However, the Land Board can only approve business land applications valid for less than 10 years and more than 100 hectares in size. If the applicant is not satisfied when unsuccessful, they can appeal to the Ministry's Executive Director for the Minister to constitute an appeals tribunal to review the Land Board's decision. The applicant can also approach a competent court if unhappy with the outcome of the appeals tribunal. Any land application for commercial purpose exceeding 10 years or more than 100 hectares must be directed to the Ministry of Agriculture for consideration.